Tonight, geologists explains the science behind the earthquake that destroyed parts of Mexico. Uh, Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez found out why earthquakes happen and why some are deadlier than others. Cecilia? 76 miles away, you'll find the epicenter to the recently deadly earthquake in Mexico City. We found out the type of ground the city is built on may contribute to the earthquake's intensity. In 1985, Mexico City felt an 8.1 magnitude earthquake killing thousands. The recent natural disaster had us wondering how earthquakes happen and why they're so devastating in Mexico City. We spoke to Dr. Ravindra Nandigam, geology professor at South Texas College. He explained to us how earthquakes happen. And usually when the rocks rupture and rocks move, we call that phenomenon as fault. But faults are breeding grounds for earthquakes. Nandiga mentions Mexico City is sitting in between two plates causing these faults to happen. And you can see there are two plates uh, that interact along right here at this boundary. Uh, uh, to the northeast we have North American plate and to the southwest we have Caucasus plate. This earthquake, particular earthquake happened along uh, what we call as normal fault. One of the uh, uh, shifted blocks shifts something like this and with this kind of geometric orientation uh, we call that as an armor fault. Each slip of a fault can produce an energy strong enough to cause major destruction. The ones in Mexico City have more potential to cause damage. Where the Mexico City is uh, built, um, which is on the top of a lake bed, uh, it can, it brought in some, some changes. So one of the changes is when the seismic waves pass through such a location, uh, seismic waves or earthquake waves. Uh, they can slow down, amplify, reverberate. So, uh, ultimate consequence of these changes is uh, the ground can shake for longer duration. The jello represents a denser type of land. The graham crackers represent the sediment or unconsolidated soil Mexico City sits on. Watch both of them as I start to shake with equal force. You can see that the graham cracker battery tends to topple over faster than the battery in the jello even begins to move. Basically, the land is not as stable and the force caused by the plates colliding intensifies. Usually aftershocks happen when after rupturing, after the initial rupture, if there is any further adjustment, uh, you know, of the configuration of the rock, that can lead to um, more release of earthquake energy, and that can cause an aftershock. Nandigam isn't sure if there will be an aftershock, but he says people should be aware one may occur. Dr. Nandigam says there is an earthquake warning system in Mexico. The warning system usually gives people a minute or two notice before the earthquake hits. In this latest earthquake, the epicenter was too close to the city for a warning to be issued. Reporting live in the Channel 5 News studio, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 6.